Chinapalyavatarayar took Vandiyathevan with him to Asthanamandapam. His reassurance about what he had said to the emperor did not satisfy him so completely. It seemed perhaps wrong to allow him to visit the emperor alone. As Aditha came from Karikalar, it is right to be suspicious of him. But there is no room for doubt as Tamayanar has sent it with a signet ring. Aha! Should someone else warn the elder about such things, what? However, when he suddenly entered the Darshan Hall, he saw a Wallaban standing hesitantly and awake as if he was afraid. Danger! Danger! I remembered that his shout fell on my ears well. If he said danger, it was danger in his ear. Is it possible that it could have fallen? Better not to send him back immediately after all. After coming to Tamayanar, we can know him well and then do the right thing. We should try to recruit this type of young man into our personal guard. He will be useful in time. Why? He may be given a portion of the old kingdom of his forefathers. Once we help such children, they will be forever loyal and grateful to us. Perhaps, if it happens that he is a determined enemy, we should make suitable arrangements for it, let Tamayanar come and join us for anything. After coming to Tamayanar, we can know him well and then do the right thing. We should try to recruit this type of young man into our personal guard. He will be useful in time. Why? He may be given a portion of the old kingdom of his forefathers. Once we help such children, they will be forever loyal and grateful to us. Perhaps, if it happens that he is a determined enemy, we should make suitable arrangements for it, let Tamayanar come and join us for anything. After coming to Tamayanar, we can know him well and then do the right thing. We should try to recruit this type of young man into our personal guard. He will be useful in time. Why? He may be given a portion of the old kingdom of his forefathers. Once we help such children, they will be forever loyal and grateful to us. Perhaps, if it happens that he is a determined enemy, we should make suitable arrangements for it, let Tamayanar come and join us for anything. Once we help such children, they will be forever loyal and grateful to us. Perhaps, if it happens that he is a determined enemy, we should make suitable arrangements for it, let Tamayanar come and join us for anything. Once we help such children, they will be forever loyal and grateful to us. Perhaps, if it happens that he is a determined enemy, we should make suitable arrangements for it, let Tamayanar come and join us for anything. On reaching the Asthana Mandapam, Vandiyathevan began to look here and there eagerly. He took a good look at the place where he had given the straw to the commander. Another straw that failed to escape Dash is that important straw lying. If only he could not find it, there could be no one else as stupid as himself. The world will not be able to see the queen of the Chola clan. Aditha Karikalar will not be able to do half of the work entrusted to him. Little Pula Vetere looked at one of the attendants and said, Take this child to our palace. Make arrangements for him in the guest house and take care of him. Stay there till I come. Said. As Vandiyadeva and Evil Alan went out, another approached the commander reverently and held out a scroll of straw. It was lying on the way from here to the vision hall. It might have fallen from the lap of the boy who just left. He said that. The commander bought it eagerly and took it apart. His eyebrows were raised up to about half of his forehead. There was a cruel change in his face. Aha! Uh -huh. The letter written by Aditha Kari Kaler to Ilay Aprati. Didn't you ask for a true hero for private affairs a hero who can complete the task? I have sent him for that. You can trust him completely and entrust him with any important task. There is some mystery. Does the elder know about this leaf or something? We should be more careful about him," said the fort commander to himself. Calling the one who had brought the straw, Kadu said some things, he left immediately. In the palace of Chinapalyavetarayar, Vandiyathevan was treated with great courtesy. He was bathed and given new clothes. Vandiyathevan, who loved to wear good clothes, was also engrossed in jubilation. He forgot even the worry about the missing leaf. After dressing up in new clothes, they served royal delicacies. Vandiyadeva, who was hungry, 
took a look at them. Later, he was taken to the Chitra Mandapam of the small Palyavatarayar mansion. You may be looking at the rare paintings in this hall until the commander arrives. They said. After saying this, the three guards sat outside the hall and chatted and started playing Chak Katan. Tanjapurai, the new capital of the Chola clan, was famous for its sculpture and painting at that time. Just as music and dance flourished in Tiravayat, sculpture and pictorial arts flourished in Tanjavur. Mainly, the Chitra Mandapam in the small Palyavatarayar mansion was very popular. Vandiyadeva now entered that hall. He was enthralled by the wonderful pictures painted on the walls in many beautiful colors. He forgot himself in that bliss, he even forgot the important thing he came for. Scenes depicting the native kings of the Chola dynasty and their life events caught his attention and enthralled him. Mainly, the history of the Cholas of the last hundred years occupied a large part of the picture hall. They are also the pictures that made Van Diathevan more interested. At this point, we would like to briefly remind the readers of the dynasty of the Chola kings who ruled from Palayare and Tanjore for the past hundred years. It will be very useful to know this in order to understand the above events in this story. We have already told about Vijayalaya Chola who wore 96 war wounds as ornaments on his Tirumani. It was customary for the Chola kings to use the titles Paraksari and Rajaksari alternately. Paraksari Vijayalayan was succeeded by his son Rajaksari Aditha Chola. He proved to be a recluse worthy of his father. At first he sided with the Palavar party and defeated Pandian and stabilized the Chola kingdom. Later, Palava started a war with Aparajathevarman. Aditha Chola jumped on Aparajathevarman who fought from Ambari on an elephant, killed him and captured the throat region. Later Kangu region also came under his rule. Adithan is a great devotee of Shiva. Aditya Chola built many temples from Sahaya Hill, where the river Kaveri originates, to the point where the river Apanya joins the sea. After Rajaksari Aditya Chola, Paraksari Paranthakan came to the title. He ruled for 46 years. Parantha was the greatest king in the Chola dynasty after Puruvalathan, who inscribed the tiger symbol in the Himalayas. He has many titles like Viranarayan, Panditava Chalan, Kunjara Milan, Surasakamani. He also has the title of Man of Madurai and Elam. The Chola Empire spread from Kanyakumari to Krishnanadi during this first Paranthagan period. The tiger flag flew for a while in Ezatu. He is also the famous Parantha who laid a golden roof on Thilich Kairambalam. During the last days of his reign, some calamities befell the Chola Empire. On that day the rash Trakutas, who were wreaking havoc in the north, sought to suppress the growing strength of the Cholas. Emperor Parantaka had three sons. The most valiant among them was the eldest son Rajadityan. Anticipating the invasion of the north, Rajadityan stayed in Thirumunapati country for a long time with a large army. Viranarayana took the lake to clear his father's name. A terrible battle took place between the Chola army and the Rash Trakuta forces at Thakolam near Arakanam. After slaying the enemy forces in this battle and establishing his heroic fame, Rajaditya gave up his life on the battlefield and reached the heroic heaven. Like the Pallava Aparajathevarman, he fought on an elephant and died on the elephant, so the inscriptions praise him as the god who rode on the elephant. If only Rajaditya had not died, he himself should have ascended the Chola throne after Emperor Parantaka. His descendants must have succeeded him properly. But when Prince Rajaditya died without attaining the title and without issue, his younger brother Kandaratha Devar ascended the throne with the title of Rajaksari as per his father's wishes. Like his father and father, he is very devoted to Shiva. He is also a Tamil lover. Actually he did not have that much difficulty in ruling the kingdom. He was much involved in temple worship and Tamil enjoyment. He followed the sages Nyanmars and sang hymns to Lord Shiva. Even though the Chola kings after Vijayalayan lived in Palayare and Tanjore, they did not leave the original Chola capital Vrayuyur. Another name for Vrayuyur is Koji. Hence the Chola kings called themselves Kojivendra. Although Kandaratathadavar ruled nominally from the throne, 
it was actually his younger brother Aranjaya who looked after the affairs of the kingdom. Aranjayan stayed with Sanyas in Tirunavalar and other places as Rajaditya's companion. He fought a heroic battle with the rash Trakutas. He quickly turned the massive defeat of the Chola army at Thakolam into victory. He stopped the rash Trakuta invasion beyond Tenpana. Therefore, when Rajaksari found Chola, he conferred the title of Yuvaraja on his younger brother Aranjaya and declared that he would be the successor of the Chola dynasty. There was another important reason for Kandaratatha's decision. His elder wife passed away before he got his degree. After a long time Kandaratatha did not understand the smell. But his younger brother Aranjaya had a son superior in beauty, knowledge, and power. He was bearing the name Paranthakan of Patnar and Sundara Kolan given by the people. Therefore, Kandaratatha Thiruvulangonda decided that his brother Aranjaya should succeed him and his son Sundara Chola after Aranjaya. According to this arrangement, he obtained the unanimous consent of all the members, the magistrates, and the representatives of the people and publicly announced it to the world. After all these arrangements were completed, a miraculous incident happened in the life of Kandaratatha. He happened to meet a young lady named Malavarian. The beauty and modesty of that Manga Iyartalak and the devotion to Shiva attracted his soul. He married the lady in his old age. This marriage also produced a child in due course. They named it Madhurandhagan and praised it and nurtured it. But both the king and the queen did not want to change the arrangement they had made earlier regarding the kingdom. Both the couple were devotees of Shiv Bhakti and Varakti Margam, so they wanted to bring up their precious son in the same religion. Abomination is due to those who believe that the kingdom of Siva is superior to the kingdom of this world. They wanted to raise Madhurandha as one who belonged to that Sivaloka kingdom. Therefore, Kandaratatha made public his wish that his brother Aranjaya and his descendants should succeed him in the Chola Empire. Therefore, the Chola Singadanam became the right of the Aranjaya dynasty beyond the two owner dynasties of Rajadatha and Kandaratatha. Pariksari Aranjaya was not alive for long after Kandaratatha. Within a year, Tamayanar was succeeded by his younger brother, Kailasa. Later, Prince Sundara Chola was crowned and enjoyed by the princes, princes, and other government officials. Rajaksari Sundara Chola also managed effectively and efficiently the great position that fortunately came to him. In the early days of his reign, he fought many heroic battles and reconquered the Pandya country and Thantai region. He drove the Rashtriya forces away from the Tenpena bank. Sundara Chola Emperor's sons Aditha Kari Kalar and Arulmas Hivarma were unparalleled warriors who could surpass their father. Both of them helped the father perfectly. They went to war at a very young age and fought in the forefront, Vijayalakshmi stood by the side of the Cholas in all the battles they went to.